мы вышли мировые лидеры по запуску We've become world leaders in terms of launches to different orbits. The Russian space program is supported by the Russian government and people. The Federal Space Agency, Roscosmos, is a coordinating body for all of Russia's space activity. Almost 250,000 people are employed by the space industries. Roscosmos today bears the responsibility for the implementation of space technologies and equipment, development of space infrastructure, the safety of space activities, launches of satellites and space vehicles, selection and the training of cosmonauts. The Russian orbital constellation consists of 97 satellites, with 38 of them designed for the solution of scientific, social and economic tasks. Russian satellites provide for communications, television and radio broadcasts all over the territory of our country and the neighboring states. They do emergency monitoring, water, forest and agriculture control, improve the quality of weather forecasts and assist in the search of minerals. There is high demand for this kind of space-based information. With respect to sea routes, railroads and motorways, a major role is played by satellite navigation systems. Satellites of the GLONASS system provide for precision positioning of all objects. By the end of 2007, the constellation of the Russian GLONASS system will increase to 18 satellites and by 2009 to 24 satellites. The Soyuz and Proton Russian launchers are capable to bring a wide variety of payloads to different orbits. New upper stages have been recently developed and tested, the Fregat for Soyuz and Breeze M for Proton. Russian industries have also implemented light class launch complexes Rocket, Strela, Start, the development activities related to light, medium and heavy class launchers of the Angara family are underway. Soyuz 2 is being prepared for the qualification launch. Russian launchers have always been known for their reliability. Russian satellites are launched from the Baikonur and Plisetsk sites. These two cover half of the launches made around the world in terms of payload delivery. And that is not the limit. Roscosmos is responsible for the exploitation of the world's largest spaceport, Baikonur. Many international cooperative projects start there. At the same time, Roscosmos establishes the system of the environmental monitoring of launch sites, flight tracks, and drop zones. The Federal Space Agency has been nominated as the competent authority within the framework of dozens of intergovernmental cooperation agreements. The major cooperative project is the International Space Station. The Russian segment of the ISS is composed of Zarya, Zvezda, Pierce modules, and Soyuz TMA and Progress vehicles docked to the station. It is the Russian segment that maintains the station's operational mode. A long-term scientific and applied research program is being carried out on board the ISS of more than 300 specific experiments. Three new Russian modules will be built in the years to come, a multi-purpose laboratory module in 2008, an energy module for the whole Russian segment, and a research module in 2011. The Soyuz at CSG, a joint Russian-European initiative, is underway. A launch complex for the Russian Soyuz ST launcher is being built in French Guiana. Due to the geographic position of this spaceport, the launcher will deliver heavier payloads to orbit. Baikonur, 
Together, Russia and Kazakhstan will build a unique space complex, Baiterek. It will be based on the newest technologies of the Angara space system. Space tourism. Three tourists have already flown to outer space on board Soyuz vehicles. Dennis Tito and Gregory Olson of the United States and Michael Shuttleworth from South Africa. A flight of Marcus Ponte, astronaut researcher from Brazil, was successfully completed in April. A space tourist from Japan is training now. One of Roscosmos's key contractors, the rocket space cooperation Energia, has recently submitted to the Federal Space Agency a new project of a star tour. The tourist will spend his first week on board the ISS where he will carry out his scientific program. Then, the crew commander will take him for a flight around the moon and back to the Earth. For that, the vehicle will be equipped with a dedicated propulsion system. Such a two-week odyssey will cost around $100 million. Not a big sum to enter the history as the greatest tourist of the planet Earth. When we look at the Earth from space, the national borders cannot be seen. In line with the Desert Launch Project, we plan to launch the Zenith M rocket in spring of 2007. The project's participants are Russia, Ukraine, the United States, and Kazakhstan. Soon, a unique scientific mission to Phobos, the satellite of Mars, will be launched. After a four-year journey, a special descent module will deliver samples of its soil to Earth. The moon inner structure will be done with the help of the Luna Globe Space Complex in 2012. The Coronas Photon Space Complex to be launched in 2007 will monitor solar fluxes and space weather. Mars 500, a ground-based experiment simulating the conditions of a flight to the Red Planet, will soon start. Six volunteers will be fully isolated from the outside world for 500 days. The Federal Space Program, for the coming 10 years, was approved by the government of the Russian Federation. The implementation of this program will increase Russia's space potential and promote the development of international cooperation. When we look at the Earth from space, national boundaries are not seen. The Russian Federal Space Agency is open for international cooperation for the benefit of humanity and our beautiful planet Earth.